Mario Kart Wii. It's a skill game, it's a luck game, people argue all the time. But then there's speedruns, a way that a player can show off their true skills in the fastest time and the quickest way that they can complete a course. A good thing that this video is coming out before the DLC of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because <laughs> I want to tell you of the story of how I became a world record holder of Coconut Mall 99999 CC of Mario Kart Wii. Whether if it's skinning an egg's outer shell like Ludwig, or you literally carrying out a gun in Mario 64 like Elf, there's always some insane speedrun out there. And then, there's Mario Kart. Clearly, the speedrun world record of Coconut Mall in 150cc is by Braxton, and he has 31.418 seconds in time. That's insane. How is it? that he has finished it in 31 seconds and whatever and i'm just a nobody saying that i have it in out of the blue well it doesn't beat his but it is a world record in its own way you see when you have searched and scoured the entire web for what i'm about to show you you realize three different things one this is awesome for getting people's attention right before the DLC of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, as I previously stated. Two, surprisingly, this has only ever been done as like a mod showcase by people like Troy or TWD98 and other Mario Kart Wii YouTubers. I actually enjoy watching Mario Kart Wii insane shortcuts and whatnot because I actually enjoy the game and it's been always one of the uh, most nostalgic and one of my favorite games of all time. Which brings me up to three. As far as I'm aware of, nobody except for Jack Tendo two years ago has done a 99999cc speedrun of this in 52.413 seconds. That's a little bit more than Braxton's 31 seconds, but it is a speedrun nonetheless and it's the only one I can find on the web. This is done through a modern community's version of Mario Kart Wii called CTGP and a mod by Zach Ruff and Nightcat called 9.0x Speed Pack. Both will be in the description if you want to try out yourself. And that's my time to beat. And man, was this challenging. If you miss a checkpoint, the lap doesn't count. So don't do that unless you are, quote, skipping key the first checkpoint to go to the last key checkpoint of the course. That was by uh, a wiki. Obviously, when you go through the course at super sonic speed, and the laps are going to be around 10 to 16 seconds-ish, maybe a little bit more, things are going to get challenging. Especially when you do glitches that are accidental, because you're going so fast. So the 31 seconds-ish, it's going to be hard to pull off exactly when you're going so fast. So going through the course normally is the best possible option for me. And also, I wanted to try to beat the way that Jack Tendo did it, in his um, record. Let me talk about how I started selecting the character and the vehicle. The Quacker is one of the best vehicles in the game in terms of acceleration. I originally want to follow TWD98's way of doing these speedruns with the handling boost at on the Bit Bike. He did speedruns, a bunch of them, but those are cup based, they're not time trial based. But I shortly realized that in my opinion, the Quacker is more successful than the bit bike in terms of time. I took acceleration or handling in this way. Characters have hidden stats in Mario Kart Wii as well, and Jack Tendo uses Toadette, a character that has a bonus stat in both off-road and speed. But speed isn't really the key when you're going through like an obstacle course and off-road, well, there's not much off-road to go off by other than the shortcut, but even then, the shortcut's like nothing when you go straight through. This is where I go off by TWD98's combination of Baby Mario and the Bit Bike. I will need Baby Mario for his whopping 6 plus points in a boosted stat in handling. His stat and weight isn't really that important though because it's a time trial, but I've strategically thought out what I will do with this in terms of vehicle, and character. I want to start off with a casual run and see what I can do. And for when I first started, it ended up at 1 minute and 8 seconds. I'm going to try my best. Um, I know, I think Baby Mario has like a bonus stat with handling, so I'm going with that. And also, I know the Quacker is really good with acceleration, especially when it comes to 400cc. 
So I'm going to be doing that as well. And I don't know how many attempts this is going to take, but my first goal is at least beating 52 seconds. Or whatever that first one was. So then I can maybe claim a world record for myself for once. <laughs> Which is kind of um, weird to say, to say the least. Anyway, I have to really concentrate. Uh, it can get wonky. I'm just going to try and see like just a normal casual run. See where I'm at. And then just go from there. See, 21 seconds. And the world record did it in 52. So I'm going to seriously have to work out, um, that out. By the way, that shortcut that I just did, you have to time it perfectly. And if you do so, you, I, I've, I've experienced that you uh, save time. I've done a couple runs. I've never actually done like a complete run on this. But... Um, that's what I'm here to do right now, is setting a run. Just a casual run, and seeing what I can do. And why I'm using my mushrooms now, I don't know. I'm just always afraid to use them, because um, you do go off the stage a lot. Like, for instance, what I just did there, um, it could have gotten worse. Or, uh, okay. Eh. And, okay. Minute and eight seconds. That's uh, not bad, but... I think it could be worked on. Like I said in the clip, through numerous attempts, I found that the fastest way to start the first five seconds of the run is to go through the shortcut route. To do this, you need to start with the full start boost and immediately let go. Try not even using the brake at all. And then you need to try going on the right side of the right escalator, unlike other speedrunners that try to go on the left railing of the right escalator. And then once you do that, you're going to try to hit the wall on the right. And then if you're so high up in the air, you want to try no dive down so then you can save air time. Through many more attempts, I came to realize that if I take the quacker and before the start, if I go to the left side and when I get that start boost, I let go and I go all the way to the right side, to the right wall, I'm able to become more consistent and try and get to that shortcut area where I need to go. Rather than having to go around Coconut Mall itself, you're able to become more consistent in terms of trying to get that accurate time and become faster throughout the entire course. It was actually not only thanks to uh, TWE98 and Jack Tendo's way of doing 99999 CC of Coconut Mall, but also many of the online time trials that Enmi did, another famous Mario Kart Wii YouTuber, of doing his Road to Master series. Many of the lines that he took and other speedrunners alike were actually very helpful in trying for me to try to figure out what is the best time that I can do. I did gain a sense on how to do some stuff, like try and get the least air time possible, which slows you down the game when you do get air time. I did try to avoid trick boosts unlike a normal speed run because, well, do I really need to explain? It just throws you off. When you get past through the shortcut, there's that ramp. What you want to do is you don't want to trick, but just drive straight through and try and land on top of the sideways pillar thing, above. Then, when you're above it, you can drive through it, and you can go through the first metal board-like thing, sorry, I don't know what to call them, and continue to the next area. When you get to the next area, you're going to have trees and a waterfall. Just avoid the boost panels, avoid the tricks, you're already going way too fast, and your lines can be ruined if you try to do a trick and you accidentally jump too high or something on the screen. From there, you're going to go on the next metal board-like thing that will take you with a left turn. And from there, you're going to go in the final section of inside the mall. And you want to try to take the right route, not the left. Sometimes you can't really help it if you take the left route. But if you can at all like, have any sense of control when you're driving in that area, take the right route. Because again, airtime is a crucial thing in here. You want to try to avoid as much airtime as possible, or you'll waste time just being on top and hitting an inside wall on the right side when you're trying to go to the car area. So you take the right route. Then, like I said, similar to going to the left route, go on the right side and try to hit the inside wall on the right. You won't go into the parking lot if you don't go like really fast. And don't go really fast when you go off the boost panels at all. Because if you do, you'll go straight out of the stage and your entire like run is just free. So don't do that, you waste time. I nosedived. 
and I still went over into the ocean. Then, I guess you could call it lay luck, just go straight through the cars and go to the finish line. And that's practically all you have to do, just do that three times. But some things to note though, is do not hold the gas button. I repeat, do not hold the gas button. Simply tap it and don't hold it, because if you go too fast, you will glitch out, you'll fall off the stage, or something of the sort, and your run will practically be ruined. Another thing to avoid is drifting. And instead of turns, you want to hop to whatever way you need to go. Just hop. Don't drift. Drift, it, it makes things worse because you also speed up when you turn. And you don't want to do that if you go too fast. And then there's mushrooms. Try to only use them if necessary. You're using a 9.0 times speed mod. Speed is important. The execution around this obstacle course is more so. If you somehow bonk into a wall and all your speed is gone, well, just go in the direction that you want and use a mushroom, but don't use too much speed. If you use a mushroom, you can get back to the, your normal speed and you can just continue with the run. So I summarize with mushrooms. Avoid if necessary and only use them if you're in like a tight situation. I managed to get a way better time. This ended up at 58.390 seconds. Then after even more attempts, I got 56.876 seconds. Executing this with nothing going wrong is surprisingly difficult. Seriously. When I say it is, I mean it is. And so, I started getting more consistent with my performance. And I still matched with burnouts, even after like 100 attempts. But then, this happened. <gasps> Okay, 53.394 seconds. It took forever in more ways than one, but I did it. It felt good, nearing my goal of being 52.413 seconds. Literally half an hour after I got my previous time of 53 seconds, I managed to beat that record by 52 seconds. Although I did make a couple of mistakes in the run, I did manage to get what I consider the world record for 9-9-9-9-9-9 CC of Coconut Mall. Here it is. Why do I keep burning out? Okay, that was actually a joke. Here's the actual run. like the perfect lap. That was not good. Thought I was going to hit a car for sure there. No, 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 no. Why? Yes! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Holy crap! 51.884 seconds. That is literally a little bit over half of a second faster. Came back through this. I do believe I can be more consistent with this time, but it states one thing in front of you, the viewer, and me, the creator. This run may not even be on speedrun.com. Nobody may even care about watching this because of the channel of my size. I don't even know if you're watching this. You might, you might not. I don't know. Unless if there is a run out there. Otherwise, I miss checking. I can now say for the record that I am the record holder of Coconut Mom on 99999 CC of Mario Kart Wii. And, like I said, if you want to try out CTGP and the 9.0 times speed mod, both will be in the description below. And hey, if you like this, maybe you can subscribe or give a like. It'd be helpful. And thanks for watching, and I will catch you later.